Hello everybody and welcome back to another one of my uh, crochet tutorials. So today's video is a lot different compared to usual. Um, so today's video is actually a requested tutorial. So um, if you don't know, I have said multiple times, if you have any requests of tutorials, please put them in the comments um, and uh, I will put the username of the person who asked me to do this mosaic crochet uh, tutorial in the uh, description um, if if you wanted to go over to her Instagram and give her a follow uh, but she is a uh, another crocheter that I know and she asked me if I could do this mosaic crochet tutorial so here we are um, I've actually learned a few things today I didn't know that there was two different types of mosaic crochet. I thought there was only one, um, but I should have known there was two as I've done both of the, the techniques. But I have got it up on the screen in front of me just because I do not want to uh, start making the wrong uh, names, if that makes sense. So there is two different types of crochet. You've got inset crochet and mosaic crochet. So I'm going... Uh, mosaic overlay crochet sorry uh overlay mosaic crochet and inset uh mosaic crochet so i'm going to just do a quick summary of what each uh technique is but today's video is going to be overlay mosaic crochet and i feel like this is a little bit easier than uh the inset crochet uh mosaic crochet sorry so, I'm just going to show you a, uh, what's it called? A, uh, a thing that I've done, in, two things that I've done in mosaic crochet. And one's going to be the inset and one's going to be the mosaic crochet. Wow, that is so close up. There we go. One's going to be the inset and one's going to be the overlay. So, this is the wish you were here. Um... The blanket is the coastal blanket, but this is the wish you were here part. And this is made using the inset mosaic crochet technique. Um, it's quite neat. I have nothing wrong with this technique, except from, if you turn it round, ignore that. Uh, if you turn it round, like this, where you are chaining, it's very holy. If I show you up here, I can literally just slide my fingers in between both the parts so it's not really safe again up here uh with kids because they could get their or babies could get their fingers caught in it stuff like uh that so that's why i don't love this technique of cro uh, of mosaic crochet however if i grab where has it gone this blanket that i've done in mosaic crochet uh this is the gonks holiday one this is also using mosaic crochet. Obviously, this is a little bit more advanced. It is um, like a pattern, if that makes sense. Uh, I get that other one was just writing, but this one's a pattern. Um, this one's mosaic crochet, and I picked this up in about an hour. Um, it was so, so easy to pick up. And also, if I flip it, instead of having them lines, uh, or them chains, where you could get caught in it, it's um there's no chains it is just flat if that makes sense there is a there is a ridge on it but that is just uh where you're leaving stitches behind um but i'll get into all of that stuff um and also it makes it double layered um so it is quite a a, a thick blanket if that makes sense whereas the inset isn't so that's why I love the overlay mosaic crochet. What you're going to need for today's uh, little tutorial is two balls of scrap yarn. I would recommend uh, having completely different colours. You are also going to need, I have just been, I'm just going to be using, um, what am I using? I'm thinking about it now. Yeah, I'm just going to be using... Uh, this simple chart that I got from, let me just find the name that uh, I got it from. I got it from uh, 6L Design, um, and it was just a free chart. So I just thought I'd print it off uh, so that you've got something to look at. So my uh, blue is going to be colour A, and my purple is going to be colour B. Um, so you can decide which colour is which. Um, 
and that's really it. Oh, you're going to need a crochet hook. I'm just using this 5.4.5, uh, but you can use a 4 or 3.5. I recommend 3.5 for this technique. Uh, this technique, I would recommend a 3.5. Uh, just so it's nice and tight. I'm going to see if I can find... I've got a 4mm here. I might use that one instead. Uh, just so it's a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to use a 4mm instead. So, we are going to absolutely crack on with this uh, and not waste Let's any time. Start. I'm not going to zoom in. I'm just going to do pull up my sleeves so that you don't see uh, my jumper whilst crocheting. Uh, but we're going to start with colour or colour A, which is uh, row 1. And we're going to start with our turquoise. So, we are also needing a pair of scissors. That's something I should add. I grab my scissors here. Here we go. Uh, so, you're going to need the end of your yarn, which I've got. And I'm just going to place that on the left side of me. And we're going to count how many stitches there is along the bottom. Uh, so, you've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen right so there's nineteen uh stitches so that means i'm going to have to chain twenty to include that chain one to fasten off so you're going to chain uh, 20, yeah, 20, 20 chains you're going to chain. This is not a crochet tutorial, so if you can't crochet, I wouldn't recommend, uh, this video. I am not going to be showing you how to do the stitches, uh, or oh, there's only going to be one stitch that I'm going to be teaching you, because you only use it for, um, for mosaic crochet. So I'm just going to chain, I've got two, four, six, eight. 10, and then 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So it's going to be a quite a small piece, uh, but for your starter it should be. You don't want it any longer. If you do want it uh, longer and you want to test it, you test yourself, you just need to add on 19, okay? You just need to add on 19, um, and then it can be double the size if you want. But just because this is a tester or a, a demo, if you want to call it, um, you only need to chain 19. I'm going to zoom in, and this is going to zoom in. At, there we go. Uh, just so that you can see what I'm doing. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cast off. So we don't need to chain that one because we included it, but we're just going to cut our yarn just like that and we're going to pull up and uh, pull free and then just tighten that off and you're going to count make sure you've got 19 chains 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 so i've got 19 chains there okay so one thing that i'd like to add is Every row you always cast off, and then you come back to the same, uh, the same, what's it called, the same side. So, if you have a stitch marker on you, which I should have, uh, I'm going to use my beef burger uh, stitch marker, which I made myself. How cute is that? Um, and I'm just going to, after this row, I'm going to put a stitch marker in this side so that I know that I'm always going to come back to this side. Not going to do it just yet because I'm going to have to work into that chain. Um, however, because that is your foundation uh, chain, you're not going to change colours just yet. So you're going to make a slip knot on a uh, slip knot and then put that onto your hook. And you're going to do what's called a standing double crochet. Or a standing single crochet if you are in... Oh, my lights just went off. Let me turn it back on. There we go. Uh, or if you're in US. So I'm going to write that down here. Um, so, oh, now what's happening? My lighting's all playing up. There we go. So, um, uh, the numbers, so you can see here, every number is going to be... Oh, I'm right in the way now. I'm going to do it just off camera so that it don't unfocus. 
every number, so I'm just going to put n, equals uh, a standing double crochet, uh, equals UK terms, or standing single crochet in US terms. There is probably a abbreviation for a standing double crochet or single crochet, but I'm just going to use uh, that as my own abbreviations for uh, for now, just because I don't know what the actual uh, abbreviations is for it. But you all know what that means, okay? So every N, which is a number up along the side, is going to be a standing uh, double crochet. Um, and that is for every everything that you do with this overlay uh, mosaic technique. So what we're going to do is to make it all neat, we're going to work into the back bumps of this chain. Um, to do that, as this, I'm going to teach this bit, but what you're going to do is you, you, every chain, you've got that V that you all should know. But if we turn it round, sorry about my fingers, uh, they look horrible. But anyway, sidetrack. Um, you're going to uh, turn it over and you can see, uh, if I go like that, you can see there is a bump. Yeah, them. They're the bumps that you're going to be working into. So you're going to insert your hook into that bump. And it should just be one uh, loop. Then you're going to grab your towel. There's going to be loads of towels. There we go. And you're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And that's your standing double crochet. So you're going to be working with the uh, towel that is on your ball. And you're going to do one single, or sorry, one double crochet UK terms, single US, in every back bump. Okay, so this can take some time and it might be quite tight. If it's tight, I recommend you going up a hook side uh, for chaining and then going back down uh, for your actual crochet, just so it makes it a little bit looser. I'm going now, oh, that zoomed out quite. Oh, now it's zoomed back. There we go. I'll just leave it like that. Um... And I'm just going to crochet all away, all the way along. This is what I mean. It is very, very tight. I'm only zooming out so you're not seeing me struggle. Uh, but yeah, it, it is quite fiddly. I might time lapse me doing this because it's going to take me ages. I promise that the next row is not as fiddly, okay? But yeah, I'm going to time-lapse me doing the rest. Right, so I am back, and that took absolutely ages. Um, I should have really went up a hook size for my chain. Um, but anyway, I have finished. Um, and what we're going to do is chain one. Then I'm going to cut my yarn, my yarn and pull through. And then just pull on that end so that it tightens up. So we should have something that looks like this. It's going to look not that neat on the first row, but once you get uh, that second row in, it will look a, a little bit neater. Um, so this is where I'm going to add my stitch marker. And I'm just going to add it on that first chain just down there. And that just means that I'm always going to be starting at this side. Okay. The reason why we go into the back bumps is so that if I... Again, there we go. So this is our uh, the row that we're going to be working into next. But if we turn it over, you can see that you can also see the Vs. So it just makes it that little bit neater. Um, and it makes it a little bit nicer. Um, but if you are a beginner um, and you don't know how to do that, you don't have to do it. I just like to do it. Um, as it makes it look a lot neater, as I said. Right, now we are going to... If I just burn that back up, I'm going to, where's my pen? Pen, here we go. I'm going to cross off row one 
as we have now finished uh, row one, I'll just cross, just do a quick, a quick line across row one. And can I just take a minute to show you my King Cole um, pen that got sent to me? Uh, anyway, if I just... There we go, that should do. It's just to know that uh, we are on row two. And we're going to be using colour B, which is uh, on my purple, uh, whatever your other colour is, basically. I'm going to find the end of that. I've got my end. I'm going to uh, create a slip knot. I'm going to again, uh, and I might lower the camera just so that it's not zoomed in because I don't like it zoomed in uh, that close. There we go. Uh, we are going to do our slip knot. There we go. A slip knot. I don't like that now. It's too close in to my hands. I've always, when I watch uh, YouTube tutorials, feel like it's too close on their hands. So that's why. And I'm going to put that onto my hook. And then, as it is all just uh, a box, there is no X's. That means that we're just going to be doing what's called a... Oh, there we go. We're going to be doing, when it's just a box, you're just going to be doing a back loop double crochet uh, in UK terms or a back loop single crochet in US terms. So we're going to do, as it's a number, we're going to be doing our uh, standing double crochet. So into that first stitch, going through both of the loops, do a single crochet. Then, as it is just a box, we are going to be doing a back loop double. So going into the back loop of that uh, of that double crochet, and we're going to do that all the way up to the last uh, the last single crochet. So you can see that it gets a little bit easier, a little bit quicker. Uh, which is which is nice and you're going to do one double crochet single crochet in you uh, US terms and if you don't know how to do a double it's just insert into the stitch yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through two that is how you do a double crochet UK terms I am very lucky that I know US and UK. The reason why I do is because I got taught in US, then I needed to learn in UK. Uh, but it is always nice to, uh, to know both of the terminology because YouTube videos can be different. But I am going to be working in UK terms. That's what I use. Okay, so I've come up to the last uh, single crochet. And what I'm going to do is go through both of the loops. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Two. Just like that. And then I'm going to chain one. And then cut my yarn. And pull through. Okay, so that's what we should look like now. Then we are going to go in with our uh, colour A. And we are going to need what we're going to need. We need colour A. Where's my colour A? There it is. I'll come this way. And we're going to do our slip knot. Put it on the hook. Then we're going to do a standing double crochet. So going through both the loops, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And then we have an X. Uh, so I'm just going to cross off row two. I should have brought a highlighter or something down with me. 
there we go so we've come across to an x so i'm going to teach you how to do a an x equals front loop treble crochet in the uk or front loop double crochet in us so what we're going to do is if i turn this over so that we've got a sort of white background actually take that away because it's not focusing so what we're going to do is do you see that front uh loop down here that we didn't work into we're going to yarn over like we would do a normal treble insert into just that front loop well it's not focusing yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two okay and that's your front loop treble crochet some people call it a spike stitch i think it's called or a spike mosaic stitch uh, but i just call it a front loop treble crochet then we're going to do that again in the next the next uh, stitch as we've got two X's next to each other. So we're going to do another front loop uh, treble. It's not focusing with that in the background. So I'm just going to go yarn over, insert into the front loop, grab that, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And I'm going into the front loop of uh, the row, the first row that we've done. So we should look like something like that. Then as we have a three, uh, three stitches that are uh, just the blocks, we're just going to be doing three back loop, well, three back loop. Uh, double crochet zoom out just because then uh, it don't all go blurry then we've come across another two X's which means we do another two uh, front loop trebles so going into the front loop yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two then we're going to do that again then we've got three boxes plain boxes which means we're going to do three uh, back loop doubles any double crochets that we do in the row is always back loop uh, as i've put down here then we come across another two x's which means we do two front loops uh front loop trebles so that's one and then into the next stitch one And then we have three boxes. So I'm going to do three back loop doubles. And then to finish the row, we've got two X's, which is two front loop doubles. So uh, front loop trebles, sorry, UK terms. And then as it's a number, we're going to work uh, into both of the loops okay then we're going to chain one and cut the yarn and pull up the loop and just tighten that so you can see that we've got something like this okay i know that this is really really small compared to something like the blanket that i did this is tiny uh, so the rows will be really, really quick. Uh, but this is a great, great starting point. I'm just rolling down my sleeves again as it is so hard to crochet uh, with them up. So I'm just going to have to deal with them being on camera. That is fine. Right, then we are going to cross that row off. There we go. And then we're going to go in with row four, which is our colour B. So if I unravel that and find my end of colour B, we're going to start by doing a slip knot. And put that on our hook. Then we are going to do, because it's a number, we're going to do a standing 
double crochet or a standing single crochet. Then we've got two uh, blocks, which means we do two, two just normal, uh, what's the word, two just normal crochets, uh, back loop double crochets, there we go, got it out in the end. Then we are going to do one uh, X, which is a front loop treble. So we're going to come down to that purple row and grab that purple first stitch. Then we've got one uh, normal. So we're going to go into the blue row back loop and just do one back loop double. Then we are going to go back down as it's an X, we are going to go back down into that third, third front loop. And we're going to do our front loop treble crochet. Then we are going to do two normal single crochets, or double crochets, sorry. Then we are going to do one X. Then a double crochet, back loop double crochet. Then a front loop. Oh, my lights went back off. The only light that I've got is my computer. Uh, so that's why it keeps on going off. Then a front loop treble crochet. So we are currently here. Then we've got two double uh, back loop double crochets. Then we've got a drop down front post, uh, front loop treble. Then we have a back loop double, which is there. Then we've got a front loop treble. And then to finish off, two front loop, uh, back loop doubles. And then we are going to finish, finally finish off with a double crochet going through both of the loops. Chain one, and cut the yarn. And you should have something that looks like this. This is a very basic um, mosaic crochet uh, pattern, uh, but it is, as I said, a great learning point. So I'm gonna cross off row four, There we go. Then we're going in with row five, which is our turquoise. So I'm going to grab my blue yarn and find the end. Just doing that bit off camera. And we're going to do our slip knot. So I will slowly start to get a little bit quicker with uh, the rows just because uh, you should have picked up the basic stitches by now. Then it's a, a standing uh, double crochet because of a number. Then we've got three uh, back loop, yeah, back loop doubles. So I'm putting three back loop doubles there. And then we are going to do a drop down front uh, loop uh, treble. And it is hiding a little bit. But if you push uh, with your finger at the back, you should see that blue stitch just come in. And you're going to yarn over, insert into the front loop. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Then you are going to do four back loop doubles. So one, two, three, oh, three and four. Then you're going to do a uh, front po uh, front loop treble, and that's again in that hiding stitch. Then you're going to do and again four front uh, four back loop. Uh, doubles. 
then you're going to do a front post, uh, a front loop treble, then finishing off with three back loop doubles. So one, two, three, and then going through both the loops with the last uh, double crochet, chain one, cut the yarn and pull up. So you can see I went really fast with that row, it's just because uh, we have already spent about half an hour with this video, don't want it to be too long. Um, but you can start to see the mosaic coming through. I'm going to do the whole thing, I'm not just going to stop halfway. Um, I'm going to do it all on video. But now we are moving on to row 5. So if I just cross off this row. So the one thing with this type of mosaic is you have a lot of ends. But I'm going to also teach you to sew them in uh, ends in in this video as well. Okay, so now we're moving on to row 6, which is in colour B. And if I use the, 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 that's my crochet hook that I'm using. Uh, you are going to, oh, it's gone off again. There we go. You're going to start with a standing double crochet. And you're going to do one back loop in every stitch along. So I'd like to add, just ignore the what colour uh, the box is. Um, it will, it will ch like, it's basically the opposite. It's really hard to explain, but even though with this row we're working in, the uh the color b and it's got white it's because the blue is the white if that makes sense i'm not going to go into it uh much but just ignore uh what color the boxes are just uh focus on the actual pattern if that makes sense So I'm nearly finished this row. And in my head, every row, I'm always counting that I've got 19 stitches. We shouldn't be losing any and we should not be adding any. Uh, so make sure you've got 19 stitches at the end of every row. I'm just counting in my head, not out loud. Then we have come to the end of the row. So we're going to do uh, a double crochet in both the loops. Chain one. And cut the yarn. And pull up a loop. Just like that. And I'm going to cross off row 6. So we only have 3 more rows to do. But I'm also going to teach you how to repeat this, uh, this block. Okay. I will have to repeat it. Uh, I will have to print off 2 more of these. Uh, but I'll cut the video, print them off, and then come back to show you how you can carry on this if you wanted. However, let's move on to row 7, which is our blue. If you have come this far with never being able to do mosaic crochet before, you should be so, so proud of yourself. Um, this is quite hard stuff to do. I picked it up um, fairly easily because I knew the stitches before. Um, but if you don't know these stitches, it can be far, uh, fairly hard, uh, but practice makes perfect. And doing just little blocks like this, uh, even if they don't look amazing first time, after some time they will. Um, that's something that I can promise, okay? So, uh, we're going to start with a standing double crochet. Then we are going to do three... Uh, just back loop uh, doubles. So one, two, three. Then we are going to do a front loop treble. Then 
Then we are going to do four back loop uh, doubles. One, two, three, four. Then we are going to do a front uh, loop treble. And four back loop doubles. One, two, three, four. Then we are going to do a front loop double. Uh, then a front loop treble, sorry. And then three back post, uh, back loop doubles to finish that row. And then a double crochet through both of the loops. Chain one and cut the yarn and cast off. Or fasten off, sorry. So that is where we're at at the minute. For a free pattern, this is actually uh, quite a very nice pattern. Usually something like this is quite expensive, uh, but I found this on a website. Um, and I will link the website down below if you want to print off your own copy. I just um, copied and pasted the picture into Word and then just enlarged it and printed it off. Um, so you can do that if you'd like as well. Uh, but we're going to in do row 8. My light should come back on. Keeps on going on and off, on and off. Uh, we need our purple. And we are going to do a slip knot. And put that on our hook. I'm going to do a standing double crochet through both the loops. Then two back loop doubles. Then we are going to do a uh, a front loop treble. And one back loop double. Then another front loop treble. Two back loop doubles. A front, uh, front loop treble. One back loop double. Just going to put my pen where we are. Then a front post treble. Then two back post doubles. This is very confusing to say. Then a front loop treble. Then a back loop double. A front loop treble. Then a two back loop doubles. Okay. Right, so I just went away and just turned my light on, uh, my actual light, just because it was getting a bit dark. Uh, but to finish this round, you need to chain one, cut your yarn, and pull up a loop. Oh, now it's turned back off again. There we go. It's on like a timer, uh, but it shouldn't turn off for like, I think, two hours now. So, we're fine. Uh, but what we are going to do is we are now working on our final uh, row, which is row nine. So, if I just cross... Oh, no, my pen's running out. There we go. I just cross row nine off. There we go. And we're going to work on our final uh, final row, uh, which is row nine. So we're going to need our blue yarn, which is this one here. Our blue yarn. And we're going to do our slip knot. Then we're going to do our number. There's not a number on this side. Um, there's just a little symbol where I took it off of off of the internet, but that should have the number nine uh, in there. If I just write it in, it should have nine 
in there. And then what we're going to do is two drop down, uh, not drop down, front loop treble crochets. Then we're going to do three back loop doubles. Then two uh, front loop trebles. Then three back loop doubles. Uh, one, two, three. Then two front loop trebles. Then three back loop doubles. Then two back, uh, two front loop trebles. And then we're going to do a single, uh, a double crochet through both of the loops. Chain one and cut your yarn and pull through and tighten right so uh you have finished uh your mosaic block i'm going to just take my stitch marker out now uh, i'm going to do this bit a little bit closer to me because it's a little bit fiddly just plop that in there and look at that so that is your little mosaic block uh and if you turn it over um, it looks like uh, that blanket I was showing you. So, I will now be teaching you how to sew in your ends. If I have a sewing needle with me, I might have to go away and get a sewing needle. Um, yeah, let me go away and get a sewing needle really quickly. Right, so I've just got my metal sewing needle. I'm going to zoom in and take away that piece of paper. And what we are going to do is, I'm going to work from the top downwards, um, and I'm going to start at the left, uh, right, sorry, right hand side, and I'm going to put my yarn onto my needle. Then, if you turn it round, so the wrong side is facing you, we're going to work, or oh, if it focuses, into the back of the, uh, a few of the stitches at least just like i'm doing here well oh, it's not focusing as nice as i would like i might zoom back out and then just come back up close like that and pull through so you only really need to go through three three stitches and then Cut your yarn. Oh, my uh, computer just turned on. Then you're going to thread the next, uh, the next towel on, and do the same just through around about three, three stitches, and pull through. And cut the tail. Then we're going to do that to the next one. So you can obviously see that the bigger the project, you're not really going to want to do all this sewing in. So you could do uh, a blanket uh, with tassels on the side like my uh, Christmas gonk one that uh, I was doing. Um, however... Doing this isn't as painful as it sounds. Oh, as it sounds, I find it quite therapeutic. Not gonna lie. Uh, sewing in my ends. So I'm just gonna continue uh, doing that, and I might time lapse uh, the video or this part of the video um, of me sewing in all of my ends, both sides.
Right, so I'm back and I've sewn in all my ends except two. I have not sewn uh, the two bottom ones in just because I wanted to show you what you do as the uh, foundation row, as it has two ends. Um, but the uh, row above it also has two ends and you're working into the same one. And I thought it might be a little bit difficult. Um, so I'm just here to show you that you just go along the same stitches that you did with uh, that round one, uh, them two ends. You just go through the same stitches. It really does not mind um, as long as the ends are sewn in. So I'm just going to do that on both of the sides. Um, so I've already done it on one. Uh, nearly finished the second one. Mm, that's coming through the front. Uh, so it doesn't really matter how you sew these ends in, uh, as long as they're uh, not showing, if that makes sense, uh, and it's all sewn in, it's absolutely fine. Right, so um, that is the end of this uh, tutorial, if I just grab my other yarn as I like to finish the tutorial how we started, if that makes sense. Um looking like that. Uh, anyway, thank you so, so much for coming along this tutorial today. I know it is only a small, uh, small little rectangle, uh, little piece that we've made today, but you can always just continue this on by starting again from row one, doing just a row, no, sorry, starting from row two, um, and just keep on working that up if you just want to test yourself. Or you can go over to, if I grab the pattern, I think it's Rosina Crochet. Uh, go over to her, she has some amazing crochet uh, blankets. That's where I got the pattern for uh, this blanket. Um, and if you can't find her, go over to my Instagram and I have tagged her in the post about this blanket. Uh, or not this blanket, the blanket that i just shown. Uh, thank you so, so much for coming on this tutorial. If there's any other tutorials that you want, put them in the comments. As you know, I uh, will 100% do a, a, a request. Um, and I would love for you to send me on Instagram, Facebook, uh, or tag me in a post on YouTube. Uh, on if you have crocheted your mosaic uh, or learnt how to do crochet mo uh, mosaic crochet uh, from this video uh, it would be so cool to see what you've all made uh, with this pattern or if you've went on from my video and done another pattern I'd love to see what you're all making um, and yeah so I'll see you in another video bye